Welcome to the Rise of Tech channel. Today you're going to see some amazing military innovations that were considered science fiction just a few years ago. Subscribe to our channel and turn on notifications so you don't miss any of our videos and enjoy this selection of awesome gadgets that are sure to blow your mind. Most military conflicts have traditionally been fought on land, but now they have shifted to the skies. Particularly dangerous these days are small drones that cause colossal damage, but are challenging to shoot down. To counter this threat, there's Skynex, a German air defense system with stabilization and self-guidance capabilities. It operates at ultra-short ranges within a 2.5-mile radius, targeting cruise missiles and UAVs like the Iranian Shahed drones. Skynet can fire up to 1,000 rounds per minute with its 35 mil millimeter ammunition, boasting an effective rate of up to 100%. It's impressively powerful and astonishingly affordable, with each unit costing around $4,000. For comparison, a single missile from the classic American Hawk air defense system costs $250,000. Even more fascinating is the fact that a version of Skynet's equipped with a 30 kilowatts laser has already undergone testing. We may not be that far away from witnessing Star Wars in real life. Disarming operations may look cool, but the risk of harming the good guys is always a concern. To mitigate this, enter Doggo, a small killer robot. This guy weighs 22 pounds and is armed with a 9mm Glock pistol capable of hitting targets up to 18 feet away. Moving silently like a ninja, the Doggo can traverse terrains at speeds up to 4 miles per hour, overcoming obstacles, entering buildings, and even climbing stairs. It features 360 degree day and night vision and 8 color cameras cameras to quickly detect enemies. See a target? Just touch it on the screen, and voila! Doggo can also facilitate two-way audio communication or neutralize opponents with a pepper spray canister. It's so simple and convenient, it's a wonder it wasn't invented earlier! When enemy tanks are closing in, a single vehicle with a two-person crew can halt their advance. We're talking about the Baobab K, Poland's automated mine-laying system, which can carry 600 rounds of various types. It's used to create minefields of any size and density. A single truck can establish a defensive area around 2,000 yards long and up to 100 yards wide in just 22 minutes, and it takes less than 30 minutes to fully reload. In the air, the M139 Air Volcano Helicopter excels at the same task. It can scatter 960 mines in a single sortie. Quite a formidable pair, right? And here is the perfect companion for the Baobab K. The M1150 ABV mine clearing tank takes the lead when it comes to breaking through enemy lines and advancing infantry. This tank clears roads of hidden bombs and mines, allowing safe passage for troops and vehicles. Unlike a regular tank, this 72-ton war machine is equipped with a mine plow and line charges. Its rockets carry C4 explosives up to 500 feet ahead, detonating hidden mines at a safe distance. Then the 15-foot mine mine plow clears the land of debris by pushing it aside. The average cost of a single M1150 ABV is quite substantial at $16 million. However, this tank can save an army much more than that, so it's well worth the investment. The Patria 6x6 armored personnel carrier and a 120mm Patria Nemo mortar system are a formidable duo unlike any other. The crew operates this innovative weapon from within kept safe by the vehicle's Stanag Level 2 ballistic and mine protection. The combat vehicle is effective on the move, easy to handle, and surprisingly agile, almost like a rally car. If there's a river ahead, there's no need for the crew to swim across. The Patria simply switches into amphibious mode and glides smoothly over the water. For naval battles, there's the Patria Nemo Navy Mortar System. It can shell coastal positions, support amphibious landings or ground troops, and even engage moving enemy ships. Did you know that there is such thing as a smart bunker buster bomb that is impossible to hide from? Traveling at supersonic speeds, it can penetrate dozens of feet of reinforced concrete before detonating. These bombs are used to strike hard-to-reach targets such as command centers, ammunition depots, and enemy research labs. This massive bomb is carried by the B-2 Stealth Bomber. Once dropped, it accelerates to, to incredible speeds, slicing through the ground like a hot knife through butter. These bombs are typically filled with tritonol, 80% TNT, and 20% aluminium powder. Versions like the GBU-57 can penetrate up to 62 feet of reinforced concrete and reach depths of 200 feet. That's taller than the Statue of Liberty. Oof, that kind of power is hard to imagine. 
Every soldier dreams of having a loyal and helpful partner that always had their back. Well, with the silent Missile Master AUGV, all the dangerous routine tasks are handled. Transporting cargo up to 2,200 pounds, reconnaissance, medical evacuation, and much more. This significantly enhances mission efficiency and safety while reducing the number of soldiers needed. These remote-controlled armored vehicles can reach the most inaccessible places and travel up to 466 miles without refueling. Moreover, they can repel the enemy from a distance. For example, the Mission Master SP is armed with machine guns and an MLRS, which fires 14 70mm caliber missiles. It can strike stationary and mobile targets up to 4.3 miles away with minimal collateral damage. Imagine how amazing that must look. The only thing these machines seem to be missing is self-awareness. Meet the Cockerel IX, the world's first ground-based interceptor capable of destroying incoming threats from long distances. This vehicle can move at extremely high speeds, up to 124 miles per hour on roads and up to 99 miles per hour off-road. It remains stealthy until its merciless, fully extendable weapon system is deployed. From the M242 Bushmaster to missiles, a variety of weapons can be deployed on this platform depending on the mission objectives. There's even a special helmet for the operator, complete with an AI-based interface providing 360-degree vision, threat assessment and classification, and targeting capabilities. How awesome is that? Who hasn't dreamed of having an invisibility cloak? That kind of camouflage could save thousands of lives and it already exists! Quantum Stealth is a transparent, lightweight material that completely conceals people, vehicles, and even buildings. Not only is it invisible to the human eye, but also to ultraviolet and infrared sensors. Quantum Stealth was created by Guy Kramer, who managed to make it thinner than paper and cheaper than standard camouflage uniforms. The Quantum Stealth shield can protect a person on the move by making it significantly more difficult for the enemy to take aim and deliver an accurate strike. The material even reduces shadows by 80 to 90 percent, which would help Navy SEALs remain hidden during landings. I'm not so sure about widespread use in military operations, but I definitely wouldn't want this technology to fall into enemy hands. In tumultuous urban settings like Gotham City, military and police crime-fighting units are indispensable. And the MV3 Hysterix, a special vehicle with frontal ballistic protection for up to eight people, is crucial for these units. Equipped with infrared and thermal imaging cameras for situational monitoring, gas and poison detectors, and other tactical gadgets, the MV3 is nothing if not versatile. It's effective both day and night, even in low visibility conditions. The Hysterix is also robust and fast, capable of moving at 5 miles per hour on crowded or riotous streets, and thanks to its retractable battering ram and harpoon, obstacles are no problem. Even massive tanks need protection. After all, anti-tank munitions are only getting better each day. The Trophy is the only active protection system that has been saving lives in real combat situations for years. It has been employed at armored vehicles like the Merkava, Namer, Leopard 2, Challenger 3, and Abrams, without hindering the crew's ability to engage targets. The Trophy creates an invisible field around the vehicle, detecting and neutralizing threats from recoilless rifles, ATGMs, AT rockets, heat tank rounds, and RPGs. It does this by launching explosively formed penetrators, or e EFPs directly at the incoming projectiles. The energy, debris, and blast pressure destroy these threats at a safe distance from the tank. However, it comes with a downside. The high-speed debris scattering in all directions can be dangerous for infantry and civilians. The enemy can't shoot what it can't see. This was the guiding philosophy behind the creation of Sweden's unique adaptive camouflage system for armored vehicles. It allows heavy equipment to blend into its surroundings, becoming invisible to hostile thermal imaging systems. It can even make a tank look like other objects such as a car, bushes, or rocks. How, you ask? Well, the adaptive camouflage system uses honeycomb-shaped modules that covers the vehicle's flanks. These, in turn, can be individually controlled to create various visual patterns. Adaptive may even be used on naval and aerial vehicles in the future, turning helicopters into clouds or warships into waves. Can you imagine that? You've probably seen strategically important sites protected by sandbags before. 
While laying those sandbags can be quite labor-intensive, but to make the task easier, Hesco has created the MIL foldable blocks. For example, to build a 10-meter wall using MIL, it only takes two people, one front-loading machine, and 20 minutes. For comparison, without MIL, that would normally require eight people, eight hours, and hundreds of conventional bags, not to mention three times the dirt to fill them. These blocks look like giant fabric organizers, but they're actually made of reinforced steel with a zinc aluminium coating, making them highly resistant to artillery attacks and explosions. What's more, a spiral fastening system allows the containers to be detached like pages of a notebook, making the Hesco MIL versatile not just for direct protection from head-on, but for any other layout as well. When there's no margin for error, you have to have a well-thought-out plan. Now the Camaro Xaver tactical visualization and tracking system is here to help rescuers and military personnel do just that with the X-ray vision powers like those of Superman. These scanners can see through walls from over 100 meters away. Wireless remote monitoring allows for critical heat assessment so more lives can be saved. The display shows the precise location of people within a building as it measures the distance from the scanner to the target, indicates who is moving, and determines their relative position. It makes you wonder whether there are any superpowers left that are out of the reach of science. What do you get when you combine the latest in aerospace technology with a futuristic race car? The answer is an incredibly fast, agile, resilient helicopter known as the Raider X. Check out these features. Acceleration up to 200 knots, the ability to hover at low speeds, and full digital control over all of its prospective weaponry. Check out the cockpit. It doesn't even have any switches overhead. Instead, everything is integrated into multifunctional displays. The Raider X can run self-diagnostics on all its systems, which saves valuable maintenance time. Its modular Open Systems Approach, or MOSA for short, allows for a variety of weapons to be quickly connected and adapted to the pilot's operational needs. Although it's still technically in the testing phase, the Raider X is yielding some extremely promising results. Like I said before, sappers are great, but even they can't detect threats as effectively as their faithful canine companions. That's why the canine vision system was created especially for these four-legged soldiers. It transmits high-quality video and audio signals both day and night without delay. Operators can give timely commands even when the dog is completely out of sight. Canine vision also doesn't hinder the dog's performance or capabilities in any way. Even better news is that the signal range is quite extensive extensive, up to 2,625 feet. The canine vision system is even effective in urban environments and dense vegetation. If only Jerry Lee could have gotten his hands on this gadget, he and Detective Dooley would have caught even more criminals. When you don't have a combat vehicle but still need some good defense, the Natter system from Rain Metal's line of remotely controlled combat modules comes to save the day. Suitable for any vehicle type, its key feature is the ability to be controlled from the driver's cabin using a joystick. These systems can accommodate a range of weapon sizes from small to medium calibers, including 40mm grenade launchers. Equipped with the Flex Eye sensor system, Natter modules can display multiple targets simultaneously on the operator's monitor. Plus, it boasts a high first hit rate, precision, self-stabilization, and functionality in any weather conditions. So while Natter can't alleviate stress, it can certainly remove the enemies causing the stress. The M1150 ABV mine clearing tank is a remarkable vehicle, but sappers, that is military engineers, are still critically vital in this regard. To protect their lower limbs, these brave soldiers now have anti-mine boots. For example, the UK's PPE 100 can withstand the detonation of 2.6 ounces of TNT and anti-personnel mines. These boots come with ballistic gaiters that prevent burns and reduce shrapnel injuries to the shins. In Ukraine, the simple yet effective Effective spider boots are currently in production and are an exact copy of their Canadian counterparts. These boots can withstand up to 3.5 ounces of explosive ordnance. Their composite design minimalizes the impact of explosions and shrapnel on the feet and legs. The spider boots have successfully passed tests against BLU-43-B and anti-personnel mines. It looks like these limb-saving boots are going to stay in fashion for quite a while, seeing as how over 50 countries around the world world have mine-ridden zones. 
So now you've seen how incredible modern military developments can be. By the way, a couple of them were state secrets, so don't go blabbing. But one thing you should definitely blab about is our channel. Spread the word. And if you haven't already, subscribe and share our videos with your friends. See ya!